Breaking news right now. New allegations against Brett Kavanaugh. Lawyer Michael Avenatti has now announced the identity of a third accuser against the Supreme Court nominee. This woman's name is Julie Swetnick. Julie Swetnick is Avenatti's client. Avenatti has been teasing this out for days now. The announcement, of course, coming on the eve of a hearing that will feature testimony from the first woman to accuse Kavanaugh of sexual assault. Kavanaugh, uh, for his part, the judge has denied the allegations of sexual assault or misconduct against him, uh, but has not addressed this specific claim as of yet. We should note here, NBC News has not had the chance to uh, vet this woman's allegations. We have not spoken to this woman. We do not have access to her. Uh, we have very limited information about her background. We are, uh, we have solicited both Kavanaugh's representatives and the White House for comment. But right now, uh, we are waiting for a reply. Again, this is a, a fast moving story. Our Kate Snow has been following it here for the past. 30 or 45 minutes yeah. or so. What more do we know, Kay? Just, as you said, just developing, just coming in. And really, all we have right now is a statement on Twitter uh, from Michael Avenatti, the attorney for this woman, Julie Swetnick, with her written declaration attached to that tweet. And as Craig said, we have not been able to verify these allegations in any way. But I can fill you in, Craig, on what she says. Essentially, she says, this is her allegation, that Brett Kavanaugh drank excessively on many occasions at many parties. She says she grew up in that area. She says that she went to high school in the area at a public high school near where Kavanaugh went to school at a private boys' school. Uh, again, we've not verified that information. And she, uh, the most dramatic allegation in a set of allegations here is that she witnessed Brett Kavanaugh and others, these are her words, to cause girls to become inebriated and disoriented so that they could then be gang raped in a side room or a bedroom by a train of numerous boys at parties where there was heavy drinking going on. In 1982, approximately, she says, I became the victim of one of these gang or train rapes where Mark Judge, which is a friend of Brett Kavanaugh, and Brett Kavanaugh were present. Shortly after the incident, I shared what had transpired with at least two other people. During the incident, I was incapacitated without my consent and unable to fight off the boys raping me. I believe I was drugged using quaaludes or something similar placed in what I was drinking. Again, I'm reading uh, from what is said to be a written declaration from a woman named Julie Swetnick. Again, NBC News has not yet been able to verify uh, this woman, you know, who she is, what she says about her history. Yeah. We've not been able to verify the details yet. I'm reading from an attachment to Twitter, yeah. a tweet from her attorney, uh, who we are, re we have been reaching out sure. to and are speaking with. I should also note, Craig, this has been teased for days now. If right. you follow Michael Avenatti on Twitter, which I do, you've seen for days now he's been saying, I have something, I have something, I want to talk to the Judiciary Committee. Uh, also in the tweet, he, he includes a couple of correspond, a bit of correspondence with the committee where he seems to want attention to these details. Yeah. And, and I, we don't know why he's released it on Twitter. We don't know why he's waited till the 11th hour. Obviously, tomorrow is the scheduled day for the hearing. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.